Episode 122 of Super gave us so much to talk about. And one of the things that I really wanted to discuss here on this roundtable discussion about Super Episode 122 is Jiren's secret motivation. So in the episode, him and Goku are going at it. And Goku talks about how he thinks that Jiren is looking for more strength. But Jiren says no. He says in one of the most alpha lines of the episode, he's like, I seek that which lies beyond strength. Now, when I read that line, I'm thinking, what could that be? So what I want to do here is I'm going to have, like I said, a roundtable discussion with a couple people here. And then I want all you guys, of course, to leave your comments and let me know what you think he's talking about. What does Jiren mean by he seeks that which lies beyond strength? Does it have to do with his wish with the Super Dragon Balls? Or is it some kind of higher ability, higher power? We're going to discuss it here. Let me introduce the panel first from... Somewhere in the south, please welcome MJ. Hello, man. Thank you for having me back on the channel. <laughs> now, from somewhere in the north, please welcome Tragic. What's up, guys? How you doing? TR4G1C. I have to spell <laughs> it every bro. I will leave links to their channels down below. Now, let's talk about this. Uh, I seek that which lies beyond Before straight we line. get started, all I got to say is all we need is some Coronas and some uh, salsa, bro. And we'd be good to Gucci, bro. That's all I'm saying. I want some pernil, bro. Pork shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's that's. I, you know what? I I, I want to say this, but you know, since he want to say that, I, I want to say this. I'm gonna pour a, a I'm gonna pour a shot of rum for everybody who's hated, uh, you know, all the things that are going on in Super right now. You you literally are gonna feel bad because you all been, yeah. You're tired, bro. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, peace in the Middle East and everywhere else in the world. Right. All right, so. Let's talk about this. So I'm going to start with MJ, bro. I seek that which lies beyond strength. Now, one of the things that, that what I first thought about was that when Jiren, if he wins this tournament, he's going to ask for immortality. But I have a weird feeling that there's something else here. What do you think? Well, yeah, because obviously when he said that, it brought up the wish. Now, I think people really underestimate the Dragon Ball Super manga. They really need to go check it out. A lot of people hate on it, but it's still something you really need to check out. And why I'm bringing up the manga is because the manga emphasizes on what Jiren's wish actually is. In the manga, Jiren wasn't even going to join the tournament until they brought up the wish. And then he's That's like, right. oh, That's yeah. Right. So once, and I've talked to Tragic about this in a very in-depth conversation, so obviously when I saw that line when he was fighting Goku, it immediately made me think of the wish. What does this guy seek? And like you, immortality came up because that's always been a thing in Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, always been there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it makes sense. And Dragon but, Ball Super was Amasu. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Super and Zamasu. So it's always been there. That's all. Like, that's like in the lore that people just want to wish for that. But at the same time, does Jiren really seem like someone who needs immortality? Because I don't know. The dude is crazy powerful, even stronger than some of the gods of destruction going off of Whis's statement. Does he really seek something like immortality? I can't see that being the wish. You know what I mean? It's, I don't know. It, it, it's hard to say. But what I found overall interesting about that whole fight, not just the fact that he made that statement, was that he's really conversating with Goku now. This is kind of different from the very first time where Vermouth told him to crush Goku and just end it right then and there. Here, he's kind of taken like sort of some interest in Goku to the point to where they're conversating mid-battle and actually talking about what they want and what their beliefs are. You know, So I think that's kind of cool. But overall, I can't really say for certain what he wants, but immortality came to my head just like you. Well, I mean, we're going to get tragic here in a minute, but it is interesting that, you know, Goku is very good at making friends out of his enemies. And I'm not saying they're going to be friends or anything, but there may be some sympathy. Goku may be sympathetic to Jiren's cause if Jiren's cause is something that's noble, you know, and vice versa. I think deep down inside when this thing is said and done, I think there's going to be that mutual respect. I think that at the end of this tournament, I think Jiren and Tope are going to have a newfound respect for Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta. Don't know about Frieza yet. That's a different video, but uh, <laughs> I just feel like like him saying. I know it's it's weird to do a video analyzing the one line, but there's got to be. It's something I would rarely do, but it's so interesting to me because I feel like there's something that Jiren wants that that seems to be because he says what lies beyond strength is. Does he want godhood? Like tragic. Take your your best guess, bro. What is he talking about here? In your opinion or your speculation, whatever you think, it's just I very interesting that he would say that. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of every everybody's like a little bit of a, a little bit of a MJ's situation here, and and some something that I actually talked in a, a, a current stream that I just did, 
is that um I think it has to deal like with with some kind of enlightenment. I, I think it has to deal with a way where it it's bringing in you know they they did have that conversation but that conversation was like uh, a master student. You know what I mean? That's how, that's how I felt. If if we remember like uh some of the older guys, you know, we kind of remember the Van Damme, the kickboxer movies and stuff like that. Um yeah. when when you get that instance where, you know, you had you had uh you had the the Mu Thai guy. He was he was always like he was always down the throat. He was like, "I'm trying to find something better, something stronger, somebody who's gonna be willing to push me over." You know what I mean? Like we had we we've had that type of character, especially in like all the martial arts movies and stuff like that. We've had that type of character before, and the dialogue that they were currently having in there it seemed like a refreshment to that kind of you know re reintroducing us to that type of dialogue. And what I liked about it was, is we had Jiren ask Goku, what do you want? And Goku was like, I want to become stronger. And then basically Goku goes after that and says, well, you know, uh, Jiren asks him after that, is that, is that all you want to do? You know what I mean? Like, you, and, you and I will, know. I'll step in real quick for just one moment here, man. Also, when he's fighting Vegeta, Vegeta talks about that Super Dragon Ball, which and I felt like Jiren had like an emotional response to that. So right. and I, and I, this dude wants the Super Dragon Balls for some reason. Right, right. And 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 I was gonna attach that is the is the fact that when he's having that conversation with Goku, it's more like you know, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What what was the main reason of all of this? What what was the fighting for? What is all this fighting for? And Goku says, I want to become stronger, blah, 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 all this other stuff. And then he's like, I don't really know. And then, you know, Goku reverses the question on him. And what do you want it for? And then Jiren is like, well, I want to know something beyond just strength. You know what I mean? And it seemed like he was more emphasizing the strength part. And it's not like... I'm not talking about like you know you pumping iron and all this stuff and you trying to be you know with knowing what's beyond the strength of the power. It has to be something that balances the power out. You, you see, what I'm saying, and that's kind of the enlightenment part. Like if you're a if you study Buddhism or if you're a monk or the Shaolin style, whatever it is, yeah, they actually kind of teach you if you if you learn uh, all the enlightenment, all the calming stuff, all the the balancing of life and all that other stuff. If you learn that first and then you actually start. Uh, the only way to like supersede yourself or or elevate your enlightenment is actually learning martial arts because that actually helps you learn it. But you're not supposed to use it for violence at all. You know what I mean? So you're it, saying that this dude is learning is basically trying to learn is basically trying to attain knowledge because he's already really strong. Right, bro. right, right. I think he's trying to attain some kind of knowledge. Because if you look at it, if you look at it, when when they go to the Kai, right? When the Kai, uh, when Vegeta and him actually fight, and you know Vegeta, you know, puts him down, and he comes back up, and he actually kind of takes him out. They go to the Kai, and the Kai automatically says, "This is how Jiren go, you know, supersedes or or, or gets it, uh, ahead of his fighters. He, this is how he fights beyond himself. This is Jiren, and that that also line kind of attaches to the whole." You know that that the whole first dialogue is seemingly looking like Jiren gets better the more he fights with stronger people, the more he actually gets pushed to this other level. Um, but you know, talking about the Dragon Balls, uh, when he actually has that dialogue with Vegeta, it's different. It's a different vibe. We have an arrogancy, you know what I mean? And and, and he asks, his, you know. It's not really like he asks Vegeta. Vegeta just blatantly says, I'm going to beat you and get the Dragon Balls. And it's almost like it sparked a nerve. It's like, you cannot fight me because you're arrogant. You cannot fight somebody like me at my level of enlightenment because you, you're, you're, not, you're not clean or pure yourself. And he actually says that line. You're not even pure, um, which no, is kind yeah. of interesting. You know, That's very interesting. But the question is, like, what? What is this dude really like? That's I think that's gonna be one of the big mysteries going into the end of this. You know, is what does this dude actually want? Because 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 there's gotta be something. I feel like it's it can't just be something simple. I just I know that maybe I should not set the bar too high because it is Dragon Ball. Right, right, right. And when we do that, we 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 end up screwing ourselves over. But I just feel like it's gotta be more than just immortality and or knowledge. And I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying there has to be a reason for it. It's gotta be something because we don't know anything about this guy. Right. And we've got all these theories about he could be a maybe he's maybe maybe it is what the, the old theory that, that we talked about before was that maybe he is from a dead universe. And he wants to bring that universe back, which is maybe what he seeks. That's more than power is love. Maybe he has family he wants to bring back to life. I mean, there's there's so many possibilities where this could go. 
And what's funny is you can't even say he wants to be a guy of destruction because he's he beyond that already. Yeah, he took yeah, he kind of and, and he rejected it. And he rejected it the first time around. So it's like it's one of those things where, you know, you have a character that, you know, if, if we look back at uh uh the history, right, of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball has always repeated itself. And we're gonna go I'm gonna kinda touch on something that I know you don't like and I actually don't like is the fact that, you MJ? know, we go and MJ probably doesn't like either, but it's the whole timeline thing, right? Uh, the time paradoxes and all this other crap and how they, <laughs> it, it, it all repeats itself and all whatever. But to actually kind of bring that into fruition is the fact that every time something happens in the future, whether they stop it or not, somebody else kind of repeats it, whether it's in a good atonement or whether it was it even you know, worse atonement, um, it gets repeated somehow. So it's not like, not like the action can ever cease to exist, but it almost seems like it's being replicated somehow, some way by a different character. And Jiren seems like he's kind of replicating that same instance of asking those quote unquote Zamasu ish questions. And I know people are going to eat this shit up, but um, he's asking like, what, what is there more? There has to be something more than just this. He's not, you know, he's not questioning of, uh, of you know, people's, uh, you know, bad, you know, bad karma or situations or what makes them, you know, human or, or them doing bad or good or whatever it is. It's more like, what, why are we here? What is the point? You know what I mean? It, it's kind of like he has that vibe about himself. Like he It's almost around. too deep for Dragon Ball, which means right, he might right, not right. Do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> right. I, that's I, I, a I great know. idea, dude. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of like what it's getting at. It, it, and it does kind of make a good story. If you kind of really think about it, it does kind of make a good story. If you had, That's never been introduced in Dragon Ball. I mean, honestly, the closest we started the spark was Zamasu with the whole trying to get real too deep. And a lot of people try to get real philosophical with the whole thing. But it has never been touched in the aspect that kind of Jiren is putting in where we don't really know much about him. All we know is in the manga, he didn't want to kill nobody. So we know he's yeah. not violent. But in this fight in episode 122, he did remotely get violent. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he remotely got to a point where, like, Vegeta pissed him off so much that he had to go to that next level. It's like, okay, listen, I was just playing with you, but now I actually have to fight you because I can understand that you're different than what I perceived you to be. So now I have to actually deal with you. You know what I mean? Because you, you could be a problem for me later on. That's kind of how he took that. And... You know that's that's interesting, and it and it it is too deep. It is currently too deep for like like mm -hmm. a real deep ass question or, 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 or conversation to have, well, especially with Jiren. It, we'll we'll see. Either way, I, it's easy for me to say that this is going to be the, an interesting storyline going forward. Is Jiren's motivations? Mm -hmm. um, I really want to know what that's going to be. Leave a comment, please, with your uh, theories as to what Jiren's motivation could be. Even if it's a wacky theory, even if it's like I want to, you know. Even if it's like he wants food or something, which is a total Toriyama thing, even though that's probably not the answer. Any final thoughts, gentlemen? Uh, well, I'm going to leave this because uh, I think it kind of plays into that same role because of the questions that are being asked is the fact that um, now we have certain gods that are, uh, you know, like the Kai's, uh, especially the Kai from Universe 1. It seems like he's also playing on that same role. Like, th these are not going to change. This is not going to change anything just because of what he saw. So... It, you know, this again, the, the theory of what is the bigger picture, you know, that, that these guys want. It seems I like, certainly hope they don't let us down with this, bro. Yeah. I hope it doesn't become a Last Jedi situation where they put a bunch of questions and give us crap answers, bro. Right. I can't handle that twice <laughs> in my life. <laughs> well, like, you know, we're going to have to find out. Like, cut, yeah, yeah. Bro, they better not cut Jiren in half and have yeah, Topo yeah, freaking be the yeah. main villain. We, we, he <laughs> wanted, he, all he wanted was a Twinkie. All he wanted was a Twinkie. That's all he wanted. Or some, or some panties, bro, or something, yeah, bro. Yeah, some panties. Bro. <laughs> I, I think I'd be okay with Twinkies, bro. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason. All right, I, I, well, I, well, I was going to say, I just think it's kind of funny how this dude yeah. went from being like, nothing to everybody to kind of like everyone's talking about him now you know what i mean like they gave him something bro they gave him something in this episode they I did think, it's very and it's gonna be a big storyline going forward i really believe that i, I really think they, think i think that. they utilized the right character to open the book of jiren and they actually use vegeta because you know he, he is he is that he is jiren is like but he's more open mouth like he's more outspoken about who he is and he's learned to accept himself so could open mouth pause pause um but you know it could be it could be a situation where maybe jiren i don't know maybe jiren was a vegeta is type of character in the past could that be it and maybe he's 
trying to find his place, you know, now? I, I certainly I, hope they tell us, bros, what I hope, no. whatever the story is. It would be great. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Let us know your comments down below, and we'll talk to you all soon.